All right, hi everyone, I'm Jake Athey. I'll be your rebellion leader here today to help you fight the good fight against content fatigue. My purpose is to help you build your brand with intelligent content tools. And I'm Jay Pongonis, content marketer from Atlanta, Georgia, galaxy not so far away. Um, but I'm also our local in-house dam Jedi. So I'm here to show you how my company, Hexagon Geospatial, leverages dam to bring order to the chaos of the content marketing world. So yes, I look a little bit different than Mace Windu, a um, little bit more hair, but honestly, who wouldn't want to be Samuel L. Jackson? Thanks, Jay. Now, why are you here? We're guessing you're here because you're challenged by scaling your content needs. You need to plan and a process for intelligent content, and you need a better way to improve organization with the content you have, as well as wanting analytics data that you can actually use. Now, if you don't need help with any of that, you may be in the wrong session, or we invite you to share your story here more later. But altogether, we want organized, easy to find content that is automating our workflows to help us be better marketing and communication professionals. Now here's what you can expect here today. We're going to come to terms with the content marketing wars and we're going to get to know digital asset management. You're going to hear damn a lot here today and that's a good thing so no worries we're not cursing up here. But we're going to talk about why damn is important. And we're going to show you how DAM enables intelligent content. And I'm here to provide the proof. All right. Now, just to set the basics, when we say digital assets, this is what we're talking about. Photos, logos, videos, marketing materials, all of the materials that you create that have value to your business. They're not just pieces of content that, that you would want to misplace. They have value because there's a high replacement cost if lost. They help drive revenues when used appropriately. And they may be reusable components or finished content products and compilations that have value for future repurposing. Now, content management systems help to manage and organize and publish your content. Quite simple, right? Well, there are a lot of system components that make up your publishing arm. We've heard about those today. But there are few technologies that are quite as capable and specialized as serving the visual content needs across the enterprise. And when it comes to content hubs that are often used and even pioneered by marketing teams, they're used across all of its members, from creatives to web designers, product marketers, and content strategists. But many other teams rely on that content hub to come together for your visual content from media to agencies, your vendors, as well as sales and dealers, as well as your customers. Now we know com companies are losing valuable resources with time, money, and content waste. A 2015 Serious Decisions study reveals that only 35% of content created is actually used. And the rest is hard to find, irrelevant, or unknown. It's a waste. And according to Gleanster Research, we recently saw on a CMI blog, that the average mid to large organization spends 25 cents of every dollar on content marketing spend on inefficient content operations. And that's nearly $200,000 annually per company on average. So while we're assembling massive content armies for our front lines, we're ignoring many of the necessary things that are needed to drive meaningful content engagement across the life cycle consistently over time. And it just got real. We are dealing with poorly managed content and we have too much. Who can relate? Who has that feeling of too much content? All right. Well, we have reached the tipping point or we're far beyond that tipping point. The average marketing organization that we serve has 25,000 active digital assets in circulation and nearly 500 users that need access to this information at any one point in time. And there are many different people involved with putting your content to work. We're battling the content marketing wars. Scattered assets, siloed teams, disparate systems, slow response times, team turf battles across departments, content misuse and abuse, and many other daily struggles that leave us thinking there's got to be a better way. Enter digital asset management. DAM is the force, and DAM solutions store and retrieve everything, yes, 
and they allow you to use and reuse your visual content more efficiently. DAM gives 24-7 access to your rich media content. It's also your rebel base, your central command to organize, track, and distribute your content across the galaxy. It unifies your team to fight the dark side of content disorganization. In short, DAM lifts your brand, saves crucial marketing costs, and improves time to market. Those are the benefits. But really what that means is it allows you to focus on the things that you care about, like creating quality content or working on that next big thing, which allows you to do the things that your leadership cares about, like driving revenues. DAM provides a single source of truth. We've heard that throughout the day, but it is a key mantra because without a single source and ability to push and pull assets from this authorized resource, you are not as productive or cost effective as you could be. Altogether, DAM provides organization, visibility, and connectivity of digital assets from a central source. It brings an awakening with an intelligent content lifecycle from planning to publishing. DAM enables intelligent content. It gives form and structure to the intelligent content process when it comes to using your visual content in conjunction with other systems. DAM is not a parking lot or a Jawa sand crawler. Do I have that right, Jay? Yes, right, yes. All right. But an integral part of your content creation, management, and distribution process. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. This is like the mantra of this conference, right? So just because you have content and you're pushing it out doesn't mean that it's intelligent. It could just be jar, jar, jargon, boo. You can boo and hiss at that one. Guys. <laughs> so, um, but DAM helps us cut through that and cut through the dross and figure out what's working. So as many of you know, these are the six elements of intelligent content. And when it comes to creating and growing rich, memorable, content-driven experiences, intelligent content is DAM powered. Intelligent content comes with well-described assets that are managed appropriately. And let's look at this in more detail. DAM provides intelligent content with six key drivers that all work together that support agile and scalable content processes. Structurally rich content comes with good metadata. Semantically categorized content comes with good catalogs and taxonomies. Automatically discoverable content comes with good governance. And reusable content comes with collections that are centrally managed. Reconfigurable content is made modular via automatic transformations. And adaptable content is web-enabled for repurposing from the central source. So if you take one thing from this session here today, know that DAM gives a framework on which we can build intelligent content. It's fundamental. Let Jay tell us more about how they use DAM at Hexagon Geospatial. So it's the ship that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. Um, my job at Hexagon Geospatial is functionally content marketing manager. Uh, I oversee our blog, social media, communications, public relations, press releases, newsletters, website content, online community, and I manage the DAM. Probably about six other things that I've forgotten as well. So I have to do all of this with a team of two. So we're really faced with a challenge for doing that um, effectively and quickly. We have to react quickly. So how do we accomplish so many things? In a lot of ways, it, it's enabled by our dam. The dam gives us a single place to go and find all of our assets. It's kind of like the Millennium Falcon. It may not look like much, but it's got it where it counts. So uh, let, me, let me back up a little bit. Let me tell you a little bit about my company and our customers. Hexagon Geospatial is part of a larger company named Hexagon. His historically, it's a measurement company. They measure everything from micrometers. They make, they make products that measure the percent of variance on Formula One cars, all the way up to measuring kilometers or with aerial scanners and drones. So where Hexagon Geospatial fits into that is that we write the software that takes the sensed information about the world, converts it into a digital world where you do all of your analytics and analysis and your planning, and then you go out and change the world. And then that cycle starts all over again. So that's where we fit in. From images, we create land cover maps, road maps, tax parcel data, 3D surface models. 
So we have a global company. We're a global B2B company. We have over 300 employees scattered across the world in 19 countries. But more than that, we are a partner-focused company. With over 190 partners around the globe, I have to be able to find a way to get access to them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so that they can get the marketing assets they need to feed their sales channels. And as we all know, right, different countries, different cultures, different languages, they have to be able to get all of that, download it, translate it, co-brand it, and I have to be able to make sure that all of our marketing standards and our messaging is consistent across the globe. We use this, this is why we use the dam. So from a traditional standpoint, we have 15 product lines in, in these, these three categories. This is our traditional B2B product lines. We sell photogrammetry, remote sensing, GIS, a bunch of stuff none of you have ever heard of, probably. Um, but we sell this to big customers, departments of defense, departments of transportation, conservancy, um, con uh, conservation agencies, governments, air photo collection companies. These are all kind of old school companies. So um, we're pretty good at that. We know how that works. But this past November, we changed how we function. We still need to focus on those B2B customers, but we launched something called the Hexagon Smart Map. So we're moving from B to B to what I invented for this slide, which is B to D to C. And that sounds like a droid name, but it's business to developer to customer. So we want to take all of our technology, package it up, put it on the cloud, and let people who don't understand geospatial build the solution build a map-based answer um, application, an m.app, and then sell that to customers. So we have to change the way that we think about our business to reach this new market. So we have a new challenge. We have our traditional customers up here in the orange, natural resources, agriculture, governments, transportation, defense departments, but we have to figure out a way that we can get marketing assets and reach out into all of these non-traditional partnerships, into the people who have technical knowledge, but not geospatial knowledge. And in a sense, that starts with our dam.